the scale of this problem is massive and the evidence is right before our eyes and the time to act is now. We cannot afford to postpone acting on air pollution and climate challenges. My name is Gabriel Okello. I'm a Prince of Wales Global Sustainability Fellow in air quality and non-communicable diseases. I'm from Uganda. Air pollution, you know, is currently responsible for over 7 million deaths globally every year. That includes over 1.1 million deaths in Africa, also placing a significant burden on the health systems and damaging the economy. We really need to act now. My vision for future impact is to be able to create more livable cities and urban spaces that support public health and well-being, reducing greenhouse gases and also mitigating climate change emissions. The project is looking at uh, direct transformational solutions to clean air pollution in cities in Uganda, reducing health risks, greenhouse gas emissions, and dependency on fossil fuels, with the potential of creating tens of thousands of green jobs. I'm currently working with actors in policy, businesses, and in academia to explore pathways to inclusive transition to electric car mobility. Some of the pathways we are piloting include uh, retrofitting of petrol powered two wheelers into electric and piloting electric buses for mass transit. Transformational leadership needs teamwork. It requires being able to work together with various societal actors, accountability, empowerment, clear communication. And by clear communication, I mean my grandmother in the rural part of Uganda who's never gone to school is able to understand it. During my work, I had to build a team that not only comprised of you know, actors in academia, but you know, a team that also has policymakers, a team that has businesses, getting the right people together online and trying to co-design these strategies. This was quite slow and we had to be patient with every collaborator on the group to have a unified message and unified approach. I've created something that uh, can outlive the project or can continue to progress even when the project ends. Having Everyone appreciate the gravity of the challenge and also working in the same direction towards this transition for me has been really one of the most gratifying things. And I really continue to treasure these cross-sectoral multidisciplinary collaborations. And I look at the transition, I look at the benefit with the strategies we've designed, be it trying to transition to electric mobility with businesses, or talking to policymakers and the way that they, they comprehend the challenge of air pollution and air quality. First, we started with a few people in policy, in the Ministry of Energy, Ministry of Environment, and then we increased to the Capital City Authority. And now we're working with big mobility companies in Uganda. Greatest allies have been businesses. They started by dipping their toes, but they are now on board with the transition and with the project. The team keeps expanding and that makes me proud. You really need to be able to translate the knowledge that you have to the team that you're working with. The other advice I would give is that people need to be flexible to adapt to different situations because society is not stagnant. Someone needs to be really flexible and adapt to those changes, the local context where necessary. CISL has really been instrumental. I've been able to incorporate 
ideas, learning to develop and nurture collaborations, being able to engage with stakeholders outside academia. I've also been able to learn to be intentional and to embed sustainability as a bedrock of the work, translating this academic evidence into actionable recommendations, both for policy and businesses, being able to see some of these outputs adapted within the community and that real impact that has been because of the interactions with many CISL colleagues who have so much experience in trying to translate this knowledge 